I'm on some big boy shit with my big boy drip. I'm on a big boy push, that's a big boy whip. Tip the weight away the fouls, and if the steak comes quick, I'm rocking Louis with some Fendi man offend them pricks. I don't love no hoes, they just love this dick. I'm the plumber for your mama, give a pack real quick. So the devil was parada, but a Mary's how I drip. I need a Jada way to make a little baby when I hit smash. Right guys, we're back, episode number 10. Look. The way that I ball, I should've played for the Big Ten When I touch stage, but they packed in Got a pretty thing to make a bag bend Let me see it all through the glass lens Had some people try to snake if I see you I'm teed up, I greet you with brass hands Skate off fast, put a buck on the dash And somewhere fast, with my feet up, wait, hold up the label Just call me the tapping. So I am currently today, 19 week out for the Mr. O It's crazy to say it Training today with my boy Chase yes. Boy Pav, so today's Chase on the channel me and Jay's com competed together back in 2019, the British finals, got fourth there mate. Uh, you want to tell about the injury and tell them why you know, got in Yeah, I mean, I snapped my leg a year and a half ago, well just over a year now, completely snapped in half, the bone come out, so it's been a long journey, I haven't been able to train, lockdown, breaking my leg, so coming up here with Rob, trying to push me, I needed someone to take me to that next level, obviously coming back from an injury, major injury, um, so I'm just glad to be here, training with the guy here, man, I know he's going to you know, do me a justice and get me in the best shape of my life, so, you know. You know what we say, guys, energy's contagious, that's good and bad. You know, surround yourself with like-minded people, great things that happen. Yeah. I all say your network is your net worth. Yes. And, you know, it's cool for you because we bring positive vibes, want the best for him, and come, uh, it's, what is it, 17 days, 16 days? Yeah, Romania, we Romania. Romania, first ever amateur show there, so see if we can get a pro card, you know. What will be, will be, you know what I mean? Like yeah. I said, we're doing everything in his power to get him that pro card and it's in the judge's hands. So as long as he knows he's done everything in his power, he's proud of that achievement. So let's pre-workouts in, get his motherfucking hamstring day cracking. Let's go. Right, so <laughs> days come down of a day. Introducing the gas mark 10 rocket fuel, yeah? Yeah. I thought, you know what? We're gonna light you up his fucking leg day. So I give him gas mark 20. Absolutely stitched him up here in a fucking nightmare. I think he threw up about three times. It went a different shade of grey. Yeah, I went I went white, I went white, I won't lie. So, but so today I'm yeah. doing gas mark 20, Pop doing gas mark 20, my boy's doing gas mark 5. Five, <laughs> five good luck for me, you may good. What flavour we got here? Cherry you got to break me in slowly for this. Uh, you got to break me in. See you, bro. Good day, man. I got some more, John. Uh, you got some more? Yes, at the yes, bar, baby. and your favorite bar. Yeah. Making gas mark. Gas mark 25. 25. We're absolutely very good. Man. No sleep, that's what that is. <laughs> One scoop before you go to sleep. <laughs> that's hardcore. The guy's telling us the toilets and the fucking clubs. <laughs> you, you, need, you don't need any fucking No tickle, just no. like this. So, you know, I'm used to this, so I'm the man behind the brand, so I've got to do Gas Mark 20. There we go, Pav. He's a brave man. I don't Pav's Russian, he has no fear. Gas mark 20 for Pav. <laughs> Gas mark 5. Five, yeah, yeah, yeah. 5.5, yeah. that looks like Gas mark 5 for okay. young, for young and... <laughs> right, mix them up. The cocktail bar. We have this fucking show on the road. Today, I'm doing hamstrings. Like I said, 19 week out. My boy Jay's. It's around 16 days out, I've probably just started his off season. So, in the last video we showed show day, and we discussed what we do with Pav's future. We're gonna get blood work booked now, and do a full detox, you know. I can't stress enough, guys, how important health is. You know, a lot of people use the window of opportunity after shows to blow, but you gotta remember, when you're putting water retention on, it's kind of unhealthy, so you have to control the water retention, get blood work done, and make sure, you know, your body's running optimal. You know, one, one, bad thing about putting a load of weight on like a ton of weight like he has your blood pressure goes out the roof so you need to control your blood pressure making sure you're in range and you know if you want longevity in the sport guys you gotta look after yourself as simple as that hands down the best pre-workout in the market no come down the taste is fire and it does the job Southern, I don't like me. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah, these these yeah. southerners are northerners. Yeah. Northerners got smart 20. 
They call us Sovereign Gus Wimmer, really. Yeah. That's very nice. Yeah. Well, today in Armstrong's, a lot of different train techniques. A lot of rust ball set, cluster sets, drop sets. A lot of variations, like I said. I've said it time and time again in my videos. You know, there's more than one way to skin a cat, and you know, I'm going to show you today all the different variations, all the different techniques, you know, to get the best possible hamstrings. You got to remember, you know, if you want to keep it fucking fresh and spicy, you got to mix things up, man. You know, I I like I do bodybuilding, so I enjoy it. Simple as that. And if I were doing the same thing week after week, I'd fucking hate it. So I come in and make exercises up. As long as I'm connecting with that muscle group, we're winning. People say what I do is I'll get like six exercises, I run with for eight week. I do one or two movements that I like, like and I think are really yeah, good for yeah. me, but then I'll chop and change it. But it's not fun, you come in, it's like monogamous too much on the same. And also, bro, I all say this if you're that strict in your routine, and you go and try a fresh gym out, you're that, you're that strict because the fuck got no machines, they won't try the machines out, it's not in the routine. You know, bodybuilder's about having fun. I all say when you're having fun, you're progressive. If you end up hating it, you know I me, mean? you want to make your sister as fast as possible. When I'm having fun, I'm in gym two, three hours, banging away. But then you have to be quite advanced to be able to do that. I think for beginners, I set a standard and try to stick to it for a certain amount of time. Yeah. But then when they get more advanced, a year or two years, then they got a bit more. Well, you know, that I fully agree with that. Yeah, because for beginners, no. Yeah. But for people like us, or even a year or two years in, yeah. I always say for beginners, concentrate your form, concentrate on getting strong, concentrate on basics. Yeah. When you start getting more advanced, you start learning more advanced techniques like yeah. rest pause, clusters, drop sets, which show you a bit of training. Mind to muscle, you know, yeah. something won't go in straight away. You have, to, you, you, have to, you have to learn that. Some people still haven't got it, bro. Uh, you know, no, I see no, them yeah. moving their weight, yeah. and that's all they're doing. They move from A to B, then they connect with that muscle. This is bodybuilding, ain't powerlifting. Yeah. If you want to move from weight from A to B, that's powerlifting. Go and join the powerlifting club. Yeah, we're, we're not here to power. Oh man, I'm too good looking for powerlifting. <laughs> 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 Do it. Right, mate, my my intro work got changes the color every day. <laughs> Talking of aminos, the land. Wednesday, Thursday next week, right? So we've had a little fucking issue with the aminos. The labels got sent to the manufacturers. A thousand labels, all fucking wrong. Everyone wrong. The isoleucine was supposed to be 1750 milligrams. It was 7750 milligrams. So, you know, I could have been an asshole and gone, right, we've got pre-orders, get the product out there. But my name's on the line. You know, you trusted the man behind the brand, so it's got to be right. So we've had them all made again. It cost another fucking 1200 quid. But it is where it is, isn't it, bro? This is bits that I'm prioritizing now when obviously it comes to leg training I know I'm getting older I can feel it you know I might feel like a young man in myself but my joints feel different my knees are sore you know my elbows are sore things like that so I'm really working the warm-ups the stretching mobility and making sure my body's really optimal I'm doing two deep tissues a week with JR and R check Jay out he's a, he's a magician man he's been fixing me up for time now he does me midweek and I do it on a Sunday as well. A lot of people like to get the deep tissue work done on the rest day. I like to do it on a training day. You know, I do it on a training day for simple factors. I get him to open my back up on my back days, allows blood flow, I get an amazing pump. And on leg day, he'll flush my legs. Same again, the blood flow is absolutely crazy. So like I say, I'm optimizing recovery and performance by doing plenty of cardio, making sure my joints are supple and you know, over the years, many bodybuilders have neglected this, including myself, and we're all paying for it later in life. So if I can give you a message, guys, it's to make sure your blood work's on track by getting reg regular checks. Make sure your blood pressure's on, on track, get yourself a blood pressure monitor. <clears throat> make sure you're doing plenty of cardio, make sure you stretch, work on your mobility. Because if you want longevity in the sport, guys, you know, looking after your body's key.
simple as that. And believe it or not, I'm 35. I look about 21, you get me? <laughs> and that ain't the GH. I told you guys that being real and real and honest on this channel, very real and honest, you know. I told you I've not touched GH for five years. And obviously when I started this off season, I started putting the GH in. Uh, I've had to pull it. The pumps are just madness, crazy. And I believe that's the issue behind my pulling my brachialis, my, my forearm, and my elbow. But the pumps were that intense, I were overcompensating with my grip and it's blown my forearm. So today I'm going for shockwave therapy. It's the first time I've tried it, so hopefully it works. You know, I want nothing setting me back on this Olympia prep. I'm fired up. I watched a podcast last night. Um, it had Blessing, Ian, it had Sean Ray on it. It had, what the guy, what's the guy called over in uh, Tarek? Tarek. Yeah. And it had this other guy on it. And I'm talking about, the, it's called the Olympia Press Conference or the Olympia Podcast. It's a new one. And they're talking about the new venue I was in Planet, Planet Hollywood. It seats 9,000 people, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 9,000, yeah. Here's, here's a man over at British Finals competing for the 500. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? 9,000. 9,000, bro. Crazy. This year's going to be really good. I keep seeing all the podcasts and like, the yeah. hype of it. All the people, the new people. Do you know where it is? Yeah, so I'm watching it thinking, yeah, it's not sick. Yeah. Then I have to give myself a little slap of thing. I'm fucking involved. Yeah. <laughs> I'm there. The rally is not kicked in yet. Not is it? kicked in, bro. Uh, but like I say, some days it does kick in and it kind of gets me down because obviously I've dreamt of this moment all my life, all my fucking life. Went through the visa issues, finally got my visa. The opportunity's here, I've earned it. And my body's not playing ball. But like I said, working around it, we're staying positive. And I always say, guys, good things happen to good people. So eventually, my time will come. And as long as I've got that 10 week window, where I can go, because that's all I need. Eight, 10 week, then it's game on. And I believe in myself, I back myself. You know, I prep for the Ireland show, believe it or not, in five fucking weeks. Five weeks, you know what I mean? So when people say, Rob, you do too much Stairmaster, you do too much of this, the proof's in the pudding, guys. I always turn up in, in, in the same condition on stage. I don't turn up like that, people peeled, I won't show up. I'd rather not do the show. Because like I said, my reputation, my name's on the line. So the same with the O, as long as I know, that I bring that pit bull conditioning. I believe I can stand with anybody. I'm a realist as well. And, you know, I'm open for top 10. That sound, people might say, Rob, you might get higher than that. But at the end of the day, it's like this. I think there's going to be over 20 men in the lineup. Yeah. It's deep in it. Even just being there is this deep. Dream. Yeah, Even exactly. just being in the in the Olympia, 100%. Winning it is, a, is an extreme. Only a certain amount of people will ever win, right? 100. Do you know where it is, Jay? So, well, you probably feel this yourself as well, you know. When you come be in the UK and you become a name, you've got pressure. And it's like they're talking about you for a pro card or whatever else. Yeah. It kind of takes the enjoyment away. Because like you feel like it's a there is pressure for you. Yeah. It's yeah, it's always been pressure. Yeah. So now I need to think to myself, I'm a nobody out there. I need to enjoy the moment, just yeah. shock. Just enjoy just it, shock, man. That's enjoy it and shock in it. There's no point of overthinking it. And that's what I do, bro. So I'm thinking, like, no, I know it is hard. You will get that brain out. Yeah. You get jump on my story and I'm saying, if I'm not top 10, top 10, I'm retiring. Nah, 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 nah. nah. And I put more pressure on myself. It's the journey that you've got to love. No. It's not the end goal. Like, this is what I say yeah. to you. The journey. You just being there is, is an amazing in itself. God, yeah, bro. And like, like I said, when talk, some of all us talked about, you know, yeah. coming up through bodybuilding, it's like, right, I want to be pro. Right, goal post shifts. Yeah. I want to get to the own. Yeah. Now we're there, it's like, I want to embrace it. But yeah. it's like, I've always been that guy in life where, I've always won sports day, I've always been artist in school, I've always been best, you know, so like, I set my, put myself on a... There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Thing. Yeah. It's, it's like my own little thing. thing. Okay, but we all have those goals, and it's only till yeah. now that I took bodybuilding a bit more serious. I never used to think about you are yeah, yeah, yeah. turn pro. It's only, I just did it just for a hobby. Yeah. But now in the last couple of years, I said, you know what, I'm not wasting my time anymore. No. It, you know. I said to you after the British, mate, when I seen you after the British, it's first time proper chatting it. Yeah. yeah. And I said you've got all the tools, bro. Yeah. That's the main thing, yeah. yeah. If you, a lot of people blow smoke at people's ass, not realists. Yeah. If I say something they've got the tools, you've got the fucking yeah, tools. Yeah, that's bro. what I needed to hear sometimes. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. one says that to me. No, no. I believe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe it. But then a lot of people in bodybuilding, yeah. if you're better than them, they won't say, "Oh, you look amazing." Yeah. If they're sh if you're if they're worse than you, they say. Yeah. Ah, you look amazing, bro. 100%. It's when you're better, they feel insecure. So they don't, don't like want to say to you. They don't want to boost you up. And that's like a lot of people in, in life. They don't want to boost you up. It's like me, bro. I don't pull anybody down in the industry. No. Every circumstance is different. Yeah. Every whole line is different. Yeah. Everybody's got a lot going off. You never hear me bad talk anybody. Yeah. The only time I bad talk people is when 
and her arse off when they're fucking Valencia. Yeah. And there's a lot of evidence. And I'll go and say it to the face. Yeah. And then I won't know smoke. No, 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 no. I see him in person, made the fucking melt. Yeah. And, and that's the problem with in life, like too many people feel jealousy and want to talk behind your back to do rap. Back. But that just shows that they're weak, not you, you know? And honestly, it's their insecurities, bro. You're not going to outrun them, but it's not. Bodybuilding shows that massively because most people are in bodybuilding a little bit insecure, right? Because they're probably doing it in the first place. Hence um, the reason I'm training a jumper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, 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 to me, I just think this sport is a great mind. It's, it's a very, you have to be strong up here. You do, mate. Physically, yes. Yeah. It's more a mental game. It's up here. And if you can conquer that, like, as I'm getting more into it, the older I get, and the more I want to achieve more, achieve more. Bodybuilding has created that, that mindset for me. 100%. And this is what I tell people. But don't, you well. think, don't you think that mindset goes into other aspects of life? Everything. That's what I say. And if I didn't do this, I wouldn't be so driven Same. in other areas. Same, bro. This taught me the consistency, the, the re raging money in the business. So, yeah. you know, everything I'm doing on the bodybuilding levels, in the, the yeah. meal timings, how structured I am, how focused I am, yeah. that, that rubs off my business. Yeah, but you're more focused than me, and that's why I need to be, that's why I've come here, because not many people are more focused than me, are yeah. more driven than me. I'm a bit psycho. Yeah, but that's good, <laughs> yeah, but that's a good way, because then you've been successful. Yeah. No one that's successful is not driven. No one, no, no, no. nothing gets handed on the plate here. Yeah. You know, so that's why I had to make that change. I'm a kind of like, I spare in a minute, I'll just do things when I feel like. So, you know, I spoke to you, next thing you know, I messaged you, I said, I'm coming up. Well, not many people would do that. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, when I went to Dubai last time, I said, I'm missing with Dubai tomorrow. She's like, oh, That's what I did. That's what I did. That's exactly what I did. But that's what I'm thinking this year, that's what I've decided. My mindset's changed. Like that, and then I'm like, I'm surrounding myself with you, do you know what I mean? You know what it is, well, you don't need invest in yourself. Yeah, that's it. You know what I mean? You got, you're around the perfect environment, you're away from all the noise, you're yeah. concentrating you and your journey, and that's yeah. what you need to do sometimes. Yeah. That's what I did to do, take myself away. Yeah. When the noise was too much, and this outside influence caused me stress, affecting my journey, yeah. you've got to move. You got to. Sometimes you, it's not selfish. It's an investment in yourself. No, it's not selfish at all. Not at all. It, it, it's more selfish. Just and anybody who wants the best for you, and you miss it or whatever, they want the best for you. They push you. They'll support that and be like, you know. And if they don't, do it. They're not right for you. Now, my miss will say, when it gets too much, Rob, just go. How many fucking, my, bro, been on, what, 13 years I've been fucking with my missus. Yeah. Got two kids, 14 dogs at home, 14, 14 dogs. dogs. <laughs> no joke, lad. And she'll say, get yourself up, big boy. Do your thing. Yeah, like, that's, that's why she's a woman, right? That's yeah, like, mate. Diamond. Diamond. And there ain't that many. And that's no. what I'm saying. There ain't that, that's what I said earlier in the video. There ain't that many people like yourselves either. Nah, mate, no, no, no. I've been around the block, man. I'm first there's, there's, there's a lot of guys that talk it, do all that, but then when you're... I'm real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when you go and see them, like, you're like, fuck, you're not sure how shit you're like, yeah. Boys, I'm going to fucking do it, I'm getting too lean. That's the one we'll do. We'll do like three curls, to really prime and warm them. Some drop sets, then we're going to some like compounds. Yeah. What are you today, man? Okay. Okay. Good training free, free today. Keep it nice and fast pace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Keep the energy up. Uh, all day, all day. Short rest periods. Yeah. Like I say, 16 days out, so it's about output now. Putting in work, getting fucking peels. Got a little bit more food today, so. Yeah, so I'm looking to see what. Expecting big things, that big things. BB. 200 carbs already, so I'm alright. Oh, I did, man. I'm bothered. Sweet, beautiful. Gregor pulled out across the 12. Yeah. Pull out three words now, gas my trend. Hey, not fucking fly across the world. Imagine. A million people watching worldwide scream. Just imagine if I did this. Pitbull, Pitbull pulls out if I, if I did this at fucking press conference. Big bag, a key and go. Hold at the top, hold at the top for a second. There you go. Let's go bro, come on, put on working. I'll work them all man. Six the opportunities. Here we go. One down, Jen. Down one. Down, yeah. I'm uh when you got hamstrings at eleven, the lollipop duties at fucking two. <laughs> <laughs> Try and 
train, kids want to serve at the counter. Stop one for yourself in the toilet. The bike over. Here we did a bike. Double. All the other top. Let's go, bro. Faster than squeeze. You know, because you said you're Why Downhill, three more. Eight. Nine. One fucking ball, let's go. There we go. Yes. Good. Down one, Pop. Down one. Heavy. Let's get more out the exercise we're doing. This knee and hamstring curl, you can feel every bit of this movement. Yeah. Yeah. From when you explode from on way up to when you contract top. it, you yeah. can see the fucking muscle working. And like I say, everything in this gym, I've trialed myself, I've run myself. You know, if I don't like it, I'll fuck it up and get something new in. You know, this machine, it's probably a bag of shit from China, this one. But, it it fucking works. works. It All the fucking gym is full of, it's full of fucking Cybex, yes. it's full of, you know, Panata, Hammer Strip. This is straight from fucking Chinese embassy. And it's a fucking, it's a fucking, a fucking Bruce Lee test of this one. <laughs> Let's go. Beautiful. Nice. Easy work. Yes. Yeah. Money. 19 week out. Let's go. What we'll do is a double drop for the rest balls. We'll rest balls for that final set, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So drop it down two, drop it down one, and then go rest balls on it. 25, 20. We're going to do 10s on this, so 10s with 40 reps each leg. Too much volume over training. Chicken legs. Chicken legs. Chicken legs. There we go again. Beautiful. Get the blood in. Come on. Push, nice. push, push. Yeah. 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 A lot of reps there. So do, we do 10, 10, 10, all holds. Your last one, pump there. Warm it up. Let's go. Okay then. Exercise number 
two we're going to do the laying on the sink curl, the Cybex, that's the Bob Boyer's machine. So we're saying we're going 15 reps, light it up, and work up to a tenth of fire. Just fucking get it, man. Yes, man, when we get to moving to the set, get out of wall and start moving it a bit quicker. But these, you can't turn on the screen, you can't get nip at the top here. Good, good thing like that. We do one set of old poles, no reps. Now we're going to work up in tens. We're going to do a regular pace now. We like to do on this first one, is feel it out. Really squeeze the contraction, make sure you don't get injured, make sure you're in prime. Now we start moving some weight in 10 reps. So pull reps down a little bit. More intensity, faster pace, let's yeah, yeah. go. You go down one now, same weight. Yeah. 10 reps, normal pace, not normal. Let's go. Let's go. Three, let's go. Four, come on. Five. Six, maybe two, come on, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nineteen weeks, bro, nineteen weeks. For me, what is it? Fifty-nine weeks. What is it? The plate fucking slot for me. The strip clubs, man. Yeah, I'm going to Think about the muscle training. Mind the muscle, there we go. Double pace, two, good, three, good job, four, ten reps, last rep, hold. Hold it, hold it. Nice. Nice. Yes. Come on. Back on now, light it up. 10 reps for buses. This one's doing fucking 20 reps. Stop. Don't forget it. Don't forget it. No, no, I've got to get it now. You've got to, you said it. Gotta get it. Gotta get it. Work. 19. 19 fucking. That's good. Is that the number? Yeah. Two. Three. Come on, I'm with you. 
Five, five fucking more. Four more. Three more. Two fucking more. Let's go. Last one, get it. Yeah. Get it, get it, get it. Oil, oil. Yeah. Good? Yeah. This is TMU camp, baby. So what we do with this is, there's no, no right and wrong way to put your feet. Just get comfortable and make sure you're driving with your hamstrings and your glutes, not your quads. Start to be in the quads, it's usually, it's usually two things. Too heavy and your foot plays the top. So just get comfortable, drive with your heels and make sure you activate your glutes and your hamstrings. on this exercise, it's all about the foot placement, recruiting the muscle fibres, so you try to train, you start feeling the quads, you're doing it wrong. So you'll notice all three of us got different foot positions, I just told the lads to get comfy, feel it in the area of training. So, as always, short rest periods, one man in, one man out. Yeah. You're Uh, I was saying the Jays a couple of weeks ago I tried running this exercise, the back pump was severe, I couldn't do the exercise, so I can tell I'm losing a bit of glycogen, a bit of pump, drop the GH. Good man, good. Basically an atom now. Let's go, champ. Let's go. Easy work. 
Come on.
first rep is going to be as good as the last rep. I don't like bullshit reps. Any bullshit reps is too heavy, so I'm going to keep it under control. 30 rep deep, 10 on each exercise. 10 on 50s, 10 on 30s, 10 on 20s. All on the same form. Potential hamstring glute. Lunges in the car park, 
Chase is taking us through the southern style lunges. <laughs> it's like a triple. triple so, you do, so you do obviously a lunge, then you do bounce three times. And go again, so yeah. Go outside. Fucking lunge in the car park. It's a blessing on the way down. It's got a slight incline on the way up, so. Woo! Been my best start with the incline, haven't we? Yeah. That's it. Wait till I'm not looking. <laughs> you see it on weights. Only my girlfriend's. <laughs> I don't get it. Only two women misses. Russian rapist. <laughs> Come on, Puff. Russian rapist. He's <laughs> gonna stick that title now, Russian rapist. <laughs> Go on, kid. Come on. Come on, lad. Are we up? Carpet size? Yeah, yeah. Take a look. Let's go. Just getting warmed up, me. Hands down. Talking like Damien's. Difference. 
funny for his pace to through posing. This is going to bring all the detail through. So when the lactic acid kicks in on stage, you'll keep working. You know, because it's just like mimicking leg day. You face legs, you're blowing out your mind. When you've been posing on stage 15, 20, it makes you feel the same way. But the difference between the win and the L is the man who keep going and remain composed on stage. So we're going to point this around now. Let's go, bro. So quick, quick look at it. Side chest. Get on that on the There we go. Nice, nice. Back double bicep. Keep step forward. Step forward, there we go. That's it. Glute, hamstrings, all in. There we go. Nice. That last spread. That's the difference guys, you know what I mean? Like I say, what you want to do is after legs, especially 15 days out, you want to chill, you want to eat a meal, you want to fucking relax. The guys who's going for the win, doing that little bit of something extra, putting in the work. I remember on prep not, not long ago, I would do five rounds after legs, five rounds in the morning, five rounds at night, and 15 rounds a day. So, if you want to be the best, you'll step outside your comfort zone, do things that others can't. So guys, now what I'm going to do is, the grab a post-workout meal, take you through that. And I'll be turning over for hamstring day today. You know, like you say, it's about intensity, it's about volume, it's about creating the right environment with the right people. So, I've always said this guys, you know, your network is your network and the people around you make a difference. So, if you all bring that same fire, same energy, don't matter if you're two week out, 19 week out, you know, we're fucking not here to play games, we're all winning. So, we're going to post with that meal. Cream and rice. Rice yes, my fucker up. Cream and rice. Big fish and food. Yeah. Yes, it is. Right guys, we're wrapping this video up. So as always, we're staying on point with 19 week out. We've had no diet changes. You know, like I said, I've had a few niggles, a few injuries, but we're still putting in the work. So post-workout meal as always, 100 gram of strawberries. We've got the gas mark 10 cream of rice. What flavour got today, Pav? I think that's uh, honey, honey Snickers, the peanut flavour. Pav also makes my post-workout meal. It's a good little girl. So, it's like ice cream as always. Check that. Absolute fire. So like I say guys, when you've had a banger like this, a big session, over two hours of legs, last thing you want to eat is rice. The gas mark 10 Korean rice in the fridge is absolute game changer. Throw a few strawberries in there, it's like eating dessert. We have 200 gram of chicken. Chase, yeah. you, wanna, you wanna do like a bit of an overview of how, you, how that session for yeah. you and how you feeling? Um, I loved it because it's more intense than what I'm used to doing. And I used to train as intense as that, but where I've been having injury, I've actually slowed down, been around my own a lot. The level of intensity, this was this is what I needed. So this is why I'm here. Pushed me past that limit that I'm used to training at, and you know, took took me to the to the limit basically. This is what you've just done. That's you know? all it's all about, guys. Yeah. It's about stepping outside your comfort zone yeah. in a new environment, doing things you won't normally do, and that's how you get your body to respond. Yeah. Shock the system, the body yeah. responds crazy. Yeah, you always should be improving and always trying to get better and stronger and more reps and just continuously progressing. That's the whole point of bodybuilding. It is progression. And if I'm not pushing myself past my normal limit, how am I meant to get better? You know, so with Rob training for the Olympia, I want to go for the Olympia in the next couple of years. So if I don't train to this level of intensity, how am I ever going to get there? Being lazy as such, or just keeping to a certain level is never going to allow you to progress. So hence why I come all this way, you know, travel 300 miles to come and take it to the next level, you know, and, that, and, that, and, that, and that's what you have to do. If you want to be one of the best, you have to be around the best. You have to take yourself out of your comfort zone, like he's just saying, and, and just take it to the extreme. So this is what I want to do. So this is why I'm here, you know. Um, There's not many people, like you say, this works on both ways. Yeah. You know, JC when to come down, he backed up his word, he come down. I welcome him with my open arms. There's too many people in the industry say, yeah, come train with me, mate. Come and do this, I'll look after you. Then when you go and give him your time, you no. give up everything back home, no. they're fucking full of shit, they ain't yeah. fucking real, you know what I mean? So, like I said, this works on both halves. Yeah. He's come down and committed, and I've committed myself to him by fucking bringing in the yeah. best shape. You know, a lot of people will pack me up when I say, I'm as real as it fucking gets, I wear my heart on my sleeve, and if 
you're good to me, I'm good to you. It's as yeah. simple as that. Yeah, and, that, and that's, that's what's so rare to find. And that's why, you know, that's why as soon as I spoke to him, I get feeling. It's all about feeling, you know, and, and that's the feeling I got off Rob. So, I, I, like I say, I just do things. I'm not, I'm not, I don't mess about. You know, if I'm going to do something, I'll do it. I'm all or nothing. And I think that's what a bodybuilder has to be like. You're all or nothing. That's, it's an extreme sport, right? Yeah, you're, yeah, you're, yeah, you're, you're either not doing it or you're fully doing it. And I, I don't do the middle ground. I'm not a middle ground person. So, you know. Too people say the word all in, but other fucking Nah, they're not, they're not all in. They're, they're talking rubbish, man. They're talking rubbish. And that's what I'm saying. If I want to be the best, one of the best around, you've got to surround yourself with the same type of people. You know, Rob's a bit further ahead of me, that's great, you know, and I want to be where he where he is now. I want to be training for the Olympia. So why be a bunch be around a bunch of divs that don't know what they're doing or tilt the talk, they ain't got they don't walk the walk. It's, Rob walks the walk. So. It's also about energy and about yeah. like even though Jay's 15 days out, it's still bringing good energy to me, to my camp. Yeah. So, you know, he knows that I am on course to Olympia. I know he's on course trying to get a pro card. So bring each other good vibes, good yeah. energy. And if you yeah. can bounce, up, bounce with each other and create the right atmosphere, great things will happen. Yeah. And that's what I was hoping to do. Come up here, not kind of like, you know, even though I am 15 days out, my energy's going to be a little less than, 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 than what you are. But I still want to push it. I still want to catch up. It's give you a new lease of life. Yeah, I have to, man. I, I, I've been training on my own for too long. And, you know, what I think is training hard, come around Rob, I realise, yeah, fucking hell, like, I've got up my game, man. I've got up my game, you know. So, and, and that's what I'm here to do. That's what I'm here to do is up my game. No games, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, no yeah. games, you know? That's my Bible game. That's my yeah, yeah, let me go five, then ten, let's see how we can go. But you know, I start off with a five, you know? Yeah. But anyway, big respect for Jace for yeah. coming down, handling a big session, you know, that was no fucking joke. We've been banging yeah. for over two hours. Yeah. It's 15 days out putting in work. Pav as always, back to back with me. He's gonna bring a new animal to the stage next year, gonna super heavyweights. I'm on road to Miss Olympia. Guys, I appreciate you watching. There'll be plenty more content from Chase, yeah, yeah. from Pav, from the Pitbull. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share the channel. Pav's a Pitbull, gas mark 10 all day. Team massive shutdown, let's fucking go. I'm on some big boy shit with my big boy drip. I'm on a big boy push, that's a big boy whip. Tip the waiter with a thousand if the steak comes quick. I'm rocking Louie with some Fendi, man, offend them pricks. I don't love no hoes, they just love this dick. I'm the plumber for your mama, give a pack real quick. So the devil was parada, but a Mary's how I drip. I need a Jada waiter, make a little baby when I hit smash.